What these uh, nations are going to do that are meeting here, uh, they are going to obviously talk about the issue, and you're right, it's very high on the agenda. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's going to dominate uh, this conference, but it is certainly one uh, where these countries are going to uh, be talking about, and it really is one of the issues here uh, at this uh, G8 Foreign Ministers Conference where basically all the countries uh, are in agreement over what has to happen. They're going to issue uh, some sort of declaration where they're going to condemn the actions uh, that Pyongyang has taken in the past couple of weeks, and they're going to call for a toning down of the rhetoric. Beyond that, there really isn't very much uh, that they can do. Of course, the U.S. has a very big interest in what's going to happen here. The U.S., of course, in that direct confrontation with Pyongyang. What's interesting, though, is that the Russians also seem to be fully on board with what all the other G8 countries are doing, the Europeans uh, and the Americans. The Russians also saying they believe it's a very dangerous situation, and they are saying uh, that what Pyongyang is doing is very dangerous as well. So, uh, at the very least, they're going to show a lot of unity uh, on the issue and send a very strong message to the North Koreans that what they're doing right now is not acceptable to the G8 countries. Zane? Fred, what are some of the other issues that the leaders there are going to be talking about? Yeah, it is a broader conference, and there are other issues uh, on the agenda as well. It is, of course, one that's going to set the agenda for the G8 uh, uh, conference that's going to take place in Northern Ireland later this year. Syria is one of the major issues, and really the one that's very divisive here. You have, on the one hand, countries like Britain and France who want to take stronger action to support the opposition, want to deliver more arms. You have the U.S. that's also sort of going down that path, but really isn't at that stage yet, still very concerned about weapons they're getting into the wrong hands. One of the other issues, actually, that's very interesting and is on the agenda for the first time at a conference like that uh, is efforts to prevent sexual abuse uh, in uh, sexual violence in conflict zones of course there was a very condemning report by save the children uh, only a couple of days ago that said a lot of the sexual violence in conflict zones is uh, is aimed at children and underage people uh, one of the people who's taken that up is the UK foreign secretary William Hague and he had this to say before going into the conference we're going to discuss uh, my own personal priority of preventing sexual violence in conflict and we'll be joined by two UN representatives, by the uh, UN Secretary General Special Representative and by the UN Envoy on Refugees uh, later this morning and we'll be able to make a public declaration of what we have agreed on this vital subject. So Angelina Jolie will be here to talk about uh, the issue um, as well. And basically, they just want to sort of say, uh, lay the groundwork to try and prevent sexual abuse uh, in conflict zones. One of that is funding organizations that combat sexual abuse in conflict zones uh, and also really uh, trying to get people who commit such crimes to justice.